Uh, the chemotherapy is uh, we call you know cytotoxic agent. So it's a, a little bit of scary name, cytotoxic. It's a toxic, you know, but it kills the cancer. They're more than normal cell, but it's not like a targeted therapy that only affect uh, cancer cell only. But the chemotherapy has a is their own good, you know, and you can destroy. Uh, the cancer cell that doesn't carry the target also. So if you use combined with the target, would you could deliver the very very good outcomes. But uh, in the past we don't have many chemotherapies, but nowadays we uh, we discover more and more the uh, agents that can act differently in in, in the cell. You know. So and less side effect also uh, with less side effect. So many chemotherapy drug you not even lose your hair yes okay. and we have preventive medication to prevent from having low blood count to prevent vomiting many many uh, drugs that can use pre-medication or to rescue the side effect from the chemotherapy so it's become much easier so 70 percent of the patient who have chemotherapy don't require hospitalization in my practice, you know, most of my patients, our patients come and go infusion of the chemotherapy for a few hours, go home, coming back again, when they have any problem, they just, we admit the patient to the hospital only if they have, uh, you know, complications, or the, only the chemotherapy that require long infusions or complex chemotherapies. So other than that, you know, more than 70% can be done as outpatient basis.